So the recent impulse buy was Boxu, which hopefully that is readable from the other side. The um, this is an artisanal snack box from Japan, which comes with beautiful, beautiful description things. Inside the box it says, happy snacking. There is a catalog printed to tell about each thing. Oh my God, this is so cool. Um, this month we had to alter our curation slightly from what's in your guide due to unforeseen production issues, but we've selected delicious alternatives for you to try instead. You can find the snack maker, descrip snack maker description and allergen information for these snacks at boxu.com swap snacks. So unfortunately, apparently our catalog is not perfect, but we have stuff, stuff of awesomeness. Okay, so, catalog. We have this. We actually have two of these. It looks identical, so I think it's the same thing. Um, no idea what it is. And we are trying to find it in the catalog. Then we have this marvelous thing with taiko drumming on it that feels like maybe rice crackers of some sort. You're almost all the way through the catalog and we haven't that found may have anything. One, that may have been the swap. One of the ones that got swapped. Oh, okay. So here we go. Um, you will find in your boxu. Do you see taiko drum? That looks like Tyco Drummers. Tyco Drummers. Yes, that looks like that. Okay, so. Okay. Tyco Drummers. Tyco Drummers. Tyco Drummers are Don Don Yaki, manufacturer Kado named after the sound of the beating taiko drums that are ubiquitous at summer festivals in Japan. These savory, little savory senbai are bursting with flavor. So I think that they are, um, I think rice snacks of some sort with maybe soy sauce and I cannot eat them. So helpful helper over here is going to taste the rice crackers that have, I think, soy sauce with wheat in it. Common allergens wheat. You want to look at one? It is a, I think, a little puffy rice crackery thing. Mm -hmm. Does it taste like a rice crackery? Yeah. It is supposed to have a complex savory flavor that is tangy, peppery, and a little sweet. Yep. Yummy. So we're not going to taste all of these right now, but we're going to we're going to look and see what there are, and maybe some of these will be left when the um, lockdown is done, so that we can share them with other people. The next one thing we have is. This of somethingness. The this of somethingness is maybe one of the things that was swapped in because I'm not finding it. So we will look more for that later. Then we have. Oh, these look really nifty. Very nifty looking things. The, um, the packaging feels like plastic, but it looks like rice paper. And that is very, very nifty. Um, the website address on it is Ichigoseka. 
.co.jp. Um, oh my god, these these feel like they might be freeze-dried something. This might be... Okay. Funuari Meijin Mochi Puffs Kinako. Um, manufacturer Echigo Seka. It is sweet. Oh, it only, it's common allergen of soy. Um, so Echigo Seka uses mochi made from pounded 100% Japanese mochigome rice and a secret process to transform it into the crisp and airy texture of this cloud-like confection. The puffs are then finished with a dusting of kanako powder made by roast, roasting soybeans grown in Hokkaido. It has a delicate sweet, delicate texture and sweet nutty flavor that make it wildly addicting. And I just, they're, they're also a little bit um, fragile. I just smushed it. Oh my God. <laughs> Cheeto puff. Mm -hmm. It's more flavor. delicate than a Cheeto puff. If we can find these at Wajamaya or <laughs> or Fubon, we need to get these again. <laughs> um, let's see. Someone's gonna back up here. Okay. This catalog is really cool. It talks about seasons in Japan. And okay. So in here, oh, here's the first thing. Quakea minute stick potatoes. Sup um um well, in Spanish, that would be mucho. I don't think it's mucho in Japanese. Plum. Okay, I cannot eat this, but these are, because it has wheat in it somewhere. But these are thin, crispy potato sticks bursting with flavor, like an ode to the Japanese plum ume tree. Every bite carries the floral notes of plum blossoms, the sourness of umeboshi, and the earthiness of shisho. Sh shiso. Um, hands down, this Japanese exclusive snack is the most addicting potato chip we've ever tried. Enjoy it under the blossoms of the ume tree, which blooms in early spring. Um, we are not saving this until next spring when the cherry blossoms bloom. I don't know if you want to open that now or yeah. later. Oh, my. Um, uh, uh, na -na. There's a thing with faces on Oh, here's the thing. Oh, we got two of the things with faces on it. Look, things with faces. Oh. This is Mokchan Dango Mochi. Um, my pronunciation, I know, is awful. It has no common allergens in it, so we can open one of them. Um, it is, the manufacturer is Kyushin Seika, and they are mochi. Um, Hanami dango is a version of mochi, especially eaten during hanami, hanami, flower viewing season. Covered in sugar crystals and meant to resemble the seasonal treat that is cherished by so many. If you've never tried mochi before, you can see why this chewy and delicious treat is so enjoyable. <laughs> um, it will be yummy. Are we opening this now or are we waiting? We're waiting right there. Okay. And let's see, um, a flat thing. I don't think. One of those? No. Um, mm. Totori pear fromage biscuit. Oh, ooh. It's. I don't think we got it. I that. don't think he got the pear cheese biscuit. Well, that's disappointing. Okay. Um, white strawberry. Oh, but we got the white strawberry. Of niftiness. Um, this manufacturer is actually Baksu. 
and it is the first chocolate infused strawberry produced by an innovative Nagano maker exclusively for Baksu. Freeze dried and infused with white chocolate. So we are opening this because it is small. So we have the cute little freeze dried strawberry that is way, way, way more solid because they've somehow infused it with white chocolate. And it has the texture of chocolate instead of the texture of a freeze dried strawberry. So it does not have styrofoam texture. That's good. That's really good. Okay. And um, didn't I see one of those? I did. No. Oh. Okay, maybe I didn't see one of those. Um, we have these, which uh, Yuzu Shu. Yuzu. Mm hmm. From Yuzu Juice. So I think these are like lemon drops made out of Yuzu. Sake. Oh, Yuzu Sake candy. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I think a lot of these things are going to be kept oh we found the pear fromage biscuits <laughs> um, are going to be either. oh I can't taste it it has eggs and wheat yes score <laughs> fragrant and featuring the featuring the delicious and beloved Nijiseki Nashi 20th century Asian pear from Totori Prefecture this delicate little biscuit is a delicious blend of lush pear, rich cheese, and decadent white chocolate. Nashi pear has held a special place in Japan's heart for centuries and is known as one of Japan's oldest traditional fruits. It has even had a dedicated museum in Totori. Nijiseki is a fairly new type of pear that has been gaining popularity in Japan for its perfect balance of sweetness and tartness. It's not hard to see the appeal of this fruit as it carries the delightful flavors of the fruit well into this soft butter cookie. And now um, off screen, because Eric doesn't want to be on camera, he might apparently open that later and enjoy it because I cannot eat it. But I can guarantee that will not be around by the next time that we see Colin. So, okay, so the, the white strawberry. I'm st I don't think that the Mala Agassin fried rice cracker is in here. Um, green okay but we have da, da, da. seaweed tempura said tochi sudachi citrus flavor um that i cannot eat because somehow it has eggs in it and also has wheat tempura, oh i can oh because tempura okay um of elevating the humble seaweed to a snack that packs a punch with the tart taste of the sudachi citrus fruit. These addictive seaweed sheets are battered, fried, and flavored to create a crisp and tangy snack. Woo! So, how long did, when did I order this? What, two weeks ago? Something like that. We heard about this on another, on a... My name is Ang Ang Ang. On a YouTube video, I think his name that was called "My Name Is Ending" or something like that. He's in Berlin, and he does a whole bunch of different ethnic food and German food and other things. Oh, this is the Ao 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 Mori Apple Caramel Yakoi Sable. Um, that I also cannot eat because it has wheat, eggs, milk, and soy. It is sweet. Um, it is a chewy sable. A French sable is originally a French butter cookie that is usually crisp with a slight snap, 
but this is chewy. So um, it will, it's even more delicious when paired with a warm cup of tea. Okay, then we have cute selection matcha chocolate stick cake. Ooh, it's foamy. <laughs> that has all the things I cannot eat. But um, matcha chocolate cake. It feels like sponge cake. The um, black black sesame taiko kumaman design with a cute little bear. Oh, I can eat this. It has tree nuts and soy. Kumaman is here to make you fall in love with Kumamoto Prefecture, made with Fragrant roasted almonds, black sesame, and mizu ame sugar syrup. This black sesame taiko is scrumptious. Oh, does it say taiko? Oh, it says taiko. So the, um, they're comparing the shape to a drum or a drum head or something like that. Because it's, we love the crunchy texture, blah, blah, blah. Each little drum is actually handmade in Kumamoto. First, the almonds and the sesame are roasted and mixed by hand with the mizu ame overheat. After mixing, it is hand pressed into discs and left to cool. They say one drum provides you with a full day's worth of sesame. <laughs> I do not eat this much sesame in a day. <laughs> Apparently you're supposed to. Okay. Do we have another pink one? We don't have another pink one. So we're missing out on the mini Shiruko Sando red bean crackers. But I wouldn't be able to eat those, so. Um, we have organic gin matcha tea. Um which is apparently just apparently an artisanal oh Japanese green tea blended with roasted rice low caffeine oh and branded for branded for baksu um oh those look interesting we didn't get those Jaga Pokuro so it looks like potato sticks um, with roasted salt with a unique method of making them so that they have a signature crispy texture that are wonderfully but We are missing out on some really amazing <laughs> potato sticks here apparently because something happened and we didn't get it. Okay, but we have the mochi puffs. The mochi puffs are amazing. We have to look for those. Um, Gude Tama Golden Pack, Tama, Tama, Tamago Kake Gohan flavor. Um, that is this. Mm. We may have to save this for Colin. <laughs> la, 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 la. I'm not sure why there's a picture of a chicken on it. Oh. Tamago is egg, not fish egg, right? Possibly. Um, and it is this fluffy and puffy and flavored like Japanese comfort food, which features hot rice, soy sauce, and raw eggs stirred into it. With this puff stick with subtle notes of seaweed, sesame, and sugar. So, nifty, nifty thing. Unfortunately, we just ate dinner, so this is not an episode like Snipe and Wib Eat a Thing, in which we get to taste all the stuff, which I can't eat most of it anyways. Um, oh, these look like those crackers. Oh, it's just a slightly... I think those are those. Does that... Okay, 
So I missed these because the packaging is slightly different. Um, these are mini Shiruko Sando red bean crackers that I can't eat. I think, you know, little wheat crackers with red bean filling. There's two pair of fromage. Here's another tea. And did, so have we figured out what this is? This must be something that is... Uh, we have no idea what this is. Because this is something that got swapped out, we think. So it's not in our in the book. We would have to look it up online. So, woo! This is, so this is us sharing with some of our friends. And apparently I have a discount code if any of you are interested in Boxu. And if we're lucky, or if you're lucky, some of these might, no, Eric's shaking his head no. None of these snacks are going to be left by the next time that we actually, you know, get to see face to face. So you can ask him about it. And yeah. 